Hello children welcome back again hope you all watched our previous video in that video we have learned different parts of a computer and its functions these computer parts are mainly classified into three categories they are input devices output devices and storage devices in this picture you can see the most widely used input devices can you read out or can you identify these images just pause the video and read out the names of these devices next we will learn what is an input device an input device is used to enter data and instructions into the computer here in this picture you can see a keyboard a joystick and a mouse as entering data into the computer now let's see what is an input data and instructions entered into a computer are called input this data can be text numbers audios and videos next we are going to learn about output devices here we can have some examples of output devices two types of monitors printer plotter and speakers in a computer an output device is typically a hardware equipment which converts computer output into human readable form let's look at some common output devices speakers or headphones are most commonly used to listen to songs and sounds in a computer they are connected to the sound card and convert electric current to sound format monitor or screen is the most common form of computer output we can watch movies play games and see all commands we type through the keyboard The picture on the monitor is actually made with thousands of tiny dots called as pixels. There are different types of monitors. Earlier cathode ray monitor or CRT monitor was used. The screen is coated with chemical called phosphor and an electron gun fires electrons on these dots which glows to give the colors. They were very large in size and consumed a lot of power. Nowadays flat panel display is more common a projector is used to magnify the computer screen and project it on a large flat surface they are used in movies and meetings to ensure large number of people can see the screen a plotter is used to create drawings on paper there are pen plotters which are electromechanical device and it moves on paper to create output There are also photo plotters which use fiber optics technology to draw an image on paper. A printer takes electronic data from computer and generates a hard copy of it. There are two types of printers: impact printers and non-impact printers. Next, we are going to learn about storage devices. Memory and storage devices of a computer. children i am sure you were very much excited during your last birthday party isn't it can you remember all the details related to that party have you ever thought how you are able to recall the details of any particular event like your birthday party how you are remembering all the details All the things we are able to remember in our daily life come from our memories. Whenever we need to recall any detail, we just think and remember things from our memory. Similarly, a computer also has a memory which is kept inside the CPU box. Whenever we need any information from the computer, we can get it from its memory that will be stored in it we use different storage places to keep our things in our daily life for example when you go to school your mother packs some food for you where does she keep the food yes she is keeping the food in the lunch box so the lunch box is a place for storing food when you want to keep your clothes where do you keep them 
or where will you keep your toys once you have finished your play where will you keep yes we use an almira or cupboard for storing your clothes and toys to keep them safe so here almira is the storage place for your clothes and toys similarly you store pencil eraser and sharpener in the pencil box so pencil box is a storage place for your pencil eraser and a sharpener okay next you carry your books in your school bag so school bag is a storage place for keeping your books and notebooks similarly a computer needs to store a lot of information so that it can perform many different functions hence storage of information is very necessary for a computer this information is stored in its computer memory or storage devices here you can see the picture of a hard disk that has a very special storage device of a computer it has a different types of data a computer can store files images videos songs movies games etc in its memory some of the storage places used by computers are hard disk memory card cds and dvds floppy disk pen drive etc do you remember what you ate for breakfast on this day last year or when did you attend school for the first time can you remember definitely no you cannot remember because sometimes we may forget a lot of things and it is not possible for us to recall that particular moment but once an information is stored in the memory of a computer it never gets erased from the computer memory unless and until that information is deleted by us 2 central processing unit cpu stands for central processing unit it is also called as brain of computer all the processing work is done by cpu cpu has three parts cu control unit alu arithmetic logical unit mu memory unit storage devices hard disk hard disk is the main storage device of our system it permanently stores large amount of data floppy disk it stores very small amount of information it is an external device and nowadays we do not use it we can use it by inserting it into the floppy drive compact disk cd it can store much more data than floppy disk we can use it by inserting it into the cd drive pen drive pen drive is a small and portable device it can store huge amount of data we can carry it anywhere with us so children here we come to an end of this video i hope you all understood what are these three main sections of computer parts input devices output devices and storage devices thank you children